bookmap volume dots display the transactions that have taken place on the best bid and offer. The green dots are aggressive market buy orders that have transacted on the best offer. The red dots are aggressive market sell orders that have transacted on the best bid. We can use the data tooltip for details of each dot. If we hover over the dot, we can see the time these transactions took place, the price they transacted at, and the volume of transactions. This green dot is for a volume of 150, and this smaller red dot is for a volume of 13. Therefore, the size and color of dot indicates the type of trade and its relative volume. Right-click on the dots to display the volume dot settings. You can display as 2D dots or as 3D bubbles. The volume delta displays the delta of buy and sell volume. If there is higher buy volume, the dot will be green. If there is higher sell volume, the dot will be red. If you select total volume, the dots will display the total volume that transacted in a pie chart, with green representing the buyers and red representing the sellers. To adjust the size of the dots, you can use this slider here. And to adjust the transparency of the dots, you can use this slider. In clustering, you can choose to cluster the volume in specific ways. You can choose none. You can display by time, which you can choose every minute, second, or hour. You can display by volume and input the amount of volume you want to display for each dot here. Or you can choose smart, which is a combination of time and volume. You can adjust the bar to make the clustering influence bigger or smaller. You can also inherit your volume dot settings from the bars with this button, or apply your dot settings to the bars with this button. There are some filtering options. With minimal displayed volume, if you bump up the number, you'll display an aggregate view of each dot. With minimal trade size filter, you'll display each transaction for the precise amount that you put here. For more information about the volume dot settings, go up to Bookmap Help and User Guide, and this will bring up the online Bookmap knowledge base.